Hello, how y'all how y'all doing today? I'm back once again. Back once again. Um for another uh what is it called? Another um, live stream. <laughs> I don't I don't know why you guys <laughs> I don't know why y'all call them uh a live stream. Like this isn't a live stream. I'm I'm not live. <laughs> uh this is basically more like a vlog or like a, a podcast, but like a video podcast. Like, but anyway, <laughs> uh, so yeah, I'm back, I'm back, and pretty much I just want to get into part two, talking more about, um, talk, talking more about. Just got a group text message, but. Yeah, I want to talk more about what is it called? Um, purpose, right? Discover your purpose in life. You know, saying how to how to discover your purpose. You know, saying this will be part three within the purpose uh, uh, series. I guess you want. I don't know if I want to call it series. Purpose. Uh, I guess I'll just call it series for now. I was gonna say something else, but I forgot. But anyway, so right. Uh, so I'm gonna start off by reading a couple paragraphs from a book that I just bought from Miles Monroe, the great, the late great, rest in peace, um, well I shouldn't say rest in peace, uh, cause he's not really dead, it's just his body is dead, he's not, his body's not dead, his body is asleep, and his spirit is in heaven with God, and so when God, when Jesus returns, you know, his, his body's gonna come back to life, his spirit's gonna reunite with his body and things gonna you know, be made perfect uh just like the rest of us you know what i'm saying that believe in jesus christ you know what i'm saying be made perfect and live forever you know in a beautiful afterlife you know life is beautiful and the afterlife you know it's gonna be with Jesus Christ is gonna be even more beautiful. So yeah, um, I got this freaking dog over here. So let me just walk this way. So hopefully it's not too loud. All right. Um. <clears throat> so let me read this paragraph real quick, right? For so for example, many people pers pursue uh, pros prosperity or fame for their own sakes. But these pursuits are not authentic. Instead, people should be pursuing their inner authority. They will discover that when they do so, prosperity will come toward them. Our prosperity is found where our authority is. <clears throat> That's the first paragraph, right? Um, just talking about, you know, authority, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, becoming successful. And uh, so if you should be pursuing, and this is the stuff that I that I that I be telling people now, you know. Um, yeah, like people try to find success because it's talking about you know prosperity in the paragraph, and people try to you know become successful, but um, they don't realize that like their success is only in their purpose, you know. That's what that's kind of what Maslow is talking about when he not kind of that's pretty much what he's talking about when he says authority. Um, he's just explaining it in a certain way, but that's basically what he's talking about purpose. So, um, yeah, like if you don't understand that God only puts your success in your purpose, it's not in nothing else. So, it don't matter what job you get, it don't matter where you live, it don't matter where you move, it don't matter, it doesn't matter who you know. If you don't know what your purpose is. You're, it don't matter how much you chase after success, money, a job, a relationship, whatever. Like, you're never going to be successful until you discover your purpose. And that's why I'm here. Because, you know what I'm saying, I'm becoming a leader. I'm going to be a, you know, very highly successful um, leader in the, in, the, in the near future. And, um... And yeah, and that's why I'm here. So I'm, I'm leading you uh, 
react to what you need to know to to real wisdom that you need to know so <clears throat> caution caution the street right now oh i thought i had to hurry up because uh it's like a truck was coming but anyway yeah that's what you need to know you know that's what you need to know at the end of the day so anyway um yeah so i was trying to elaborate a little bit further basically saying that um <clears throat> yeah like your purpose that's you got to know what your purpose is and you got to become clear confident and concise have, and have full clarity on what it is you know so you got to you got to get to the point where can't nobody tell you nothing about it like can't nobody tell you nah you shouldn't do that or or i don't think you should do that or nah you're, you're not going to be successful doing that or or you don't but you don't got the money for it or even family members that they'd be like man we don't that don't happen to us you know what I'm saying like who, who in our family has has you know been successful doing that or you know what I'm saying like you really think you're gonna you, you, you really actually think you're gonna get somewhere you're gonna, you think you're gonna become somebody you know what I'm saying like you got family members saying this you know bull crap you know what I'm saying you gotta get to the point to where nothing nothing that they say when it comes to this stuff matters like that's the point I'm at you know what I'm saying it don't matter who try to tell me whatever anything I, I only listen to what God has to tell me you know and of course there has to be somebody stupid behind me you know, oh don't <laughs> see that right there is a perfect example of somebody who don't know what their purpose is in life perfect example he out doing nonsense <laughs> this, this is why this is why I'm here for y'all man Y'all got y'all got to get your purpose, man. You got to get it because, like, you're going to be like that. You're going to be just wasting your time and your life doing stupid stuff. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, that's not going to bring any benefit to anybody. Because, look, if you figure out your what your purpose is, if you discover it and you fulfill your purpose, it's not just going to be about you and it's not, a, it's not just about you. Actually, it's more about other people than it's about you because it's going to bring success to hundreds of possibly t thousands possibly hundreds of thousands of other people you know what I'm saying your purpose is connected to other people um everybody's purpose everybody's purpose is connected and interdependent upon like hundreds of other people so if you keep staying away from your purpose then a hundred other people are going to keep are going to keep staying away from theirs and then a hundred other people that are connected to them are going to stay away from theirs then a thousand other people connected to them and then it just keeps going in a domino effect and that's why god put me here you know what I'm saying to break this domino effect you know what i'm saying in a new world and a new government you know what i'm saying that um <clears throat> that he's gonna have me um introduced to the world which is his government which is the kingdom the kingdom of god but it's not a religion it's not christianity it's the kingdom straight from the bible you know straight from from, from the bible which is not Christianity so don't don't get it twisted on thinking that I'm talking about that you know like a, a church or a religion but um I'm talking about something that's actually going to be able to connect with the world and unbelievers you know what I'm saying and help them out and change their lives you know what I'm saying because you know you got these all these religious Christians you know what I'm saying that will um stay in the church uh and, and when they do go out to church They'll just come at unbelievers, you know what I'm saying, with, uh, what's it called, with, uh, with religion, you know what I'm saying, like, telling them, like, oh, you're gonna, you're gonna, um, you're gonna go to hell, um, you don't believe in Jesus Christ, you're gonna go to hell, you need to believe in Jesus Christ, um, you're a sinner, um, and yeah, and, that, and that's pretty much all they have to say, you know what I'm saying, and it's like, that's not how you, that's not how you, get to people who don't believe in jesus christ that's not how you win them over that is not how you do it there's, there's no wisdom in that <laughs> because the bible says and whenever the bible says something it's god saying something i hope you guys can still hear me clearly but um the bible says that uh the wise win souls so therefore basically basically what god's saying is is that you know a wise man or a wise person you know what I'm saying? Man or woman is the person that, that wins people's souls. You know what I'm saying? Um, 
So you can't come up here re religiously and with religion and think you're going to win their souls. It's not going to happen. So uh, I'm that's why I'm coming to you like this. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking to you about your life. You know what I'm saying? Not about no religion. You know I'm saying religion ain't going to do nothing for you. It ain't, it ain't never done nothing for me. It ain't going to do nothing for you. <laughs> so I ain't coming at you with that. You know what I'm saying? I'm coming at you with kingdom. You know what I'm saying? Kingdom way of thinking. Um, so, yeah. Uh, I'm about to have to wrap this video up. It's getting too long. Um, but there is a couple more things, or at least one more thing I want to, to say. Elaborate on for a little bit. Um, but I just kind of want to wrap up what I was already saying right now about, you know, what is it called? <laughs> That's crazy, man. God, God gave me a perfect example with the perfect timing of, of that that guy and doing the donuts over there. <laughs> but anyway, uh, like, like, so like it's got this dude don't realize that you can end up easily losing control of the car and then crashing it, and then now you mess your car up, and then now you're about to have more problems, and now and now you're gonna respond to it in a in a dumb way because you just showed that what you did shows that you're a dumb person. So then. Now it's going to be a domino effect. You know what I'm saying? You're going to respond to it in a dumb way. You're going to, you're going to respond to problems in a dumb way. And then um, you responding in a dumb way is going to cause even more problems. And then it's going to cause problems to other people. And I'm telling you, that's what, see, I'm wrapping up with this. This is also a kingdom um, type of, you know, understanding that I'm about to say to you. And that is everything you do and you think and decision that you make affects hundreds of other people. Hundreds of other people. It's not just about you. You know what I'm saying? You see, God's kingdom, the, meta the, the way of thinking that's in God's kingdom is for the, the common and, and for everybody. Like, everything is shared in the kingdom. You know what I'm saying? So, but I'm not going to get too much into that. You know what I'm saying? That's a little bit deep for y'all. You know what I'm saying? You're probably not going to, you're not, y'all not ready for that. But, um, so, but what I did want to say was that, yeah, everything you do, you know what I'm saying, affects other people. Like, we're all connected together. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> so everything you do. And if I was to choose to go rob a store or to try to rob a bank, that's going to negatively affect other people in, in very strong, big, and deep ways. Especially me. You know what I'm saying? Because I have a big, big purpose in my life. That's going to... Like me, that would probably affect like tens, like at least 10,000 or tens, tens of thousands of, pe of people. Not obviously, it, it probably wouldn't you know right away, but give it a few years and it probably will. You know what I'm saying? So <clears throat> that's why I'm here doing what I'm doing, talking to you right now here today outside. You know what I'm saying? Um, not caring about you know what anybody thinks that that sees me because now when I go out, I'm always doing something to where people always you know are looking at me and just really wondering like, what the heck is this guy doing? <laughs> you know. Especially when I go on my instruments now, like my my guitar and my amp, you know, people, um, I always get like a lot of looks from people. Like they always, you know, a lot of people look at me like driving, walking around, like, like, cause, cause right now I don't have a car, so I, I got to walk around. Sometimes I have to walk around my guitar and my amp. And yeah, like a lot of people look at me, um, uh, they'll, um, and like, if they come near or come up to me or you know have to be near me for whatever reason like maybe to the bus stop or whatever um they'll like look at my instruments and then they'll start smiling and then they'll um you know start asking me questions like oh how long you been playing and you know all this different stuff you know um so it just goes to show man like when you start seeing that and that's me walking in my authority you know what i'm saying like i was saying in the book so when you start doing that man it's gonna open up some really good things to your life, so that's why I'm that's why I'm here for you. That's why I'm here for you. But for real, I mean, so I got this up. I'm gonna I'm gonna finish this off by reading the last paragraph I want to read. But also, I need to uh, show you this book, right? Uh, the title of it and the author, right here. <clears throat> Bang! Bang! Hope you can see it good. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Bang! Authority. Dr. Mawson wrote the purpose and power of authority. It might be what you call. See, it might keep showing it um, reversed. 
<clears throat> but I can't, yeah, I can't flip this camera over. Like, once I start recording, it's stuck on one side. So if it shows it reverse, oh well. But anyway, yeah. So I highly recommend that you look up, look up this book on Amazon right now and that you buy it. And honestly, if I knew you, or, you know what I'm saying, I don't know if I want to make the promise right now. Well, or you know how how, how would I, how about this? I'll say it. This book is about fifteen dollars, right? If if you don't have fifteen dollars to buy this book, comment below, and I will do my best to send you this book. Um, I would just need like you know, and I'll just order on Amazon, and I'll I just need your address because I'll I'll send it to you. Um, I'll I'll order on Amazon, and I'll have it delivered to you to your address, to your house, or wherever. Um, Ideally, your house, you know what I'm saying? I don't want it to be sent to some business or, or your job and then you don't end up getting it. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, man, but if you could buy it yourself, I, I highly recommend you buy it yourself. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people, man, they need their hands held through things. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully, y'all aren't like that, but you know what I'm saying? I'm still willing to help you. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm becoming a leader, like I said. So, yeah. Um, but anyway, um, and I want to say on um, the author, right? Dr. Miles Monroe, I highly recommend uh, that you that you look him up on YouTube right after you finish this video. You know what I'm saying? Dr. Miles Monroe. That's you don't even have to put in doctor, you can just put Miles Monroe. That's M-Y-L-E-S-M-U-N-R-O-E. Miles Monroe. Look him up on YouTube immediately and buy one of his books immediately. You know what I'm saying? On Amazon. He has a lot of like, you can find pretty much any of his books on Amazon. It's like about around $15. <coughs> Um, I got a lot of stuff that I can say, man, because God's giving me so much powerful wisdom. But I'm trying to hurry and wrap this up. So anyway, um, yeah, so yeah, look him up immediately, and 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 I'm serious. Like when I say look him up immediately, like don't give the chance <clears throat> for um, don't even get a chance. Like I gotta sit this book down for a second. Don't even, don't even what you call, don't even give the chance. Of procrastination or the possibility the way that you beat procrastination is you get something done immediately you don't even give a chance or a possibility of procrastination you know what I'm saying stealing something from you you've had enough things stolen from you your whole life you know Satan has, has robbed you of your purpose Satan and the world has robbed you of your purpose by keeping you in ignorance from it your whole life so you know what I'm saying so look him up on YouTube because he's going to give you wisdom that you need to change your life you know what I'm saying? Immediate Rogers. You know what I'm saying? So, so let me code wrap this up. Uh, <clears throat> hold on, real quick. <clears throat> Gotta go. I sat the book down. Because <laughs> uh, I just wanted to get personal with you for a second. <laughs> but anyway, uh, I guess I gotta finish. I gotta finish uh, this paragraph. Huh? So anyway, yeah, so this is the paragraph. What 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 are you authorized? Oh my gosh. Wendy out here is blowing the pages up. What are you authorized to do? Authority. Authority is therefore the key to fulfillment and effective living, the means to proper function in life, and the guarantor of success. Basically, like it guarantee it, guarantee, it will guarantee you success. Like I've been saying, um, authority is the law of maximum performance. It is also the means of powerful, positive influence in other people's lives. If authority is all of these things, then it then is it imperative that we all understand this critical concept? Obviously, yes. Unless you know what you're authorized to do in life, you will always experience some degree of dissatisfaction uncertainty frustration and perhaps even anger in regard to your circumstances yet you have the yet you have the opportunity responsibility and ability to develop your own personal authority authority and carry out your unique purpose in life in conjunction with others you know what I'm saying? it kind of just builds upon what I was saying before um, and what I was saying before is that, you know, your purpose is not just about you, uh, it's about other people, you know what I'm saying? It's about hundreds of other people, you know what I'm saying? And those people are going to suffer if you don't fulfill your purpose, you know what I'm saying? So, 
Yeah, and that's it, man. Discovering Purpose Part 2. So, I'll see y'all in the next video. I mean, like, I don't really want to do another live stream for the next video, to be honest. Um, because that's not my main purpose. My, you know what I'm saying? I, I'm, you know, my second strongest gift is teaching, so that's a part of my purpose, a big part of it. But, my main purpose is music, so that's what I, I focus on as priority. So, my next video probably will be something musical. Matter of fact, it's probably going to be better days ahead. Um, music video uh, preview. Yeah, boy. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, so, yeah, so... Understand, but these these last three um, podcast videos were very powerful. Had a lot of powerful wisdom, wisdom in them enough in and of themselves. So, yeah, man. Um, I don't think it's really nothing else. There pretty much ain't nothing else for me to say. But you know what I'm saying. For you, for you of my subscribers, thank you for subscribing and share share this around share this video around share my channel and just keep it keep it to yourself share it with everybody share it with all the world and mainly share it through word of mouth like tell people you know vocally don't like text people or send links you know what I'm saying tell people vocally word of mouth that's also another word of, you know what I'm saying word of wisdom and advice to you people word of mouth is the best promotion so yeah um you know what I'm saying so if you if you ever if, if anybody comes to you I ask them for you to pay for promotion, most of the time you should not do it. You should just say no. You know what I'm saying? Now if it's gonna be a baby amount of money, like ten dollars or something, then it just really depends. You gotta think about it. You know what I'm saying? That's on you. But other than that, that's it, man. You know what I'm saying? That's it. Thank you for watching this video. And yeah, I'll see you on the next one. So that's it. <clears throat> oh, I forgot. Once again, man, I'm going to keep reminding y'all. My album coming out soon. You know what I'm saying? My main purpose right there. You know what I'm saying? Releasing these, you know, creating albums and releasing them. And I'm going to tell you right now, what you call, um, yeah, this album is going to be what you call, is going to be powerful. Like, this, uh, this, this album that's about to come, really it's an EP, but I'm just saying album because you probably don't even know what an EP is. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just saying album because that's basically what it is. It's a short album. So, um, so yeah, but yeah, this album, ladies and gentlemen, this album is going to be powerful, you know what I'm saying? And it's only going to be the beginning, like my future albums are only going to be more and more powerful, especially my, my, uh, my literal actual debut album that, that I'm going to release in a couple years, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, this, but this album coming out in a couple weeks, December 3rd, 2021, for me to you. I'm telling you, it's gonna be powerful. Like, it's gonna have the power to change your life. If you listen to this album, you listen very and, and you play the music over and over again, which if you listen to it once, you're already going to because my music it gets stuck in people's heads. Um it even gets stuck in my head. You know what I'm saying? Like after I after I um finish playing like one of my songs on the guitar, it'll be stuck in my head. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, but um play it, you know what I'm saying, from from front from from the beginning to end over and over again. And um it's going to get into your subconscious and it's going to change your life. You know what I'm saying? It's going to change your life for the better. Like this album is going to change people's lives. You know what I'm saying? The message with, within it from my scene and my lyrics and just everything about it is powerful. You know what I'm saying? It's going to change your life. So, and I highly recommend pre order it. Pre order it right, right now. Bandcamp, September's Passion. Bandcamp.com, September as in the month. S Passion P A S S I O N dot Bandcamp B A N D C A M P dot com. You can listen to like about six tracks on there so far, um, and then the rest of them it's about like eight more or nine more that that you can't listen to you until it comes out. So pre-order it. You know what I'm saying? Pre-order on that website, and um, it'll be the the best purchase that you've made in your life. And I'm dead serious. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, go ahead and do that. And that's it. You know what I'm saying? I love you. And I'll see you soon. <laughs>